hello viewers <coughs> welcome to my channel uh, today's topic is uh, uh, zygomycosis uh, which is also known as uh, uh, mucormycosis so these are the this is the two names for the same medical condition now zygomycosis is a serious and potentially deadly fungal infection and uh, which is infrequently diagnosed so it's very hard to diagnose and mostly it's un goes undiagnosed you know so it's a deadly infection you know and uh, there are many different fungi uh, they may cause uh, uh, mycor mycosis you know. uh, these are the infections uh, with the uh, mucoraceous family of the fungi and uh, predominate as causes. Uh, but hence many investigators use the term uh, mucormycosis instead of zygomycosis. So the risk factors uh, include like uh, poorly controlled uh, debilitating diseases including like uh, diabetes, you know. Uh, immunosuppression and trauma and uh, serious injuries you know and uh, the groups of such patients injured in uh, the national disasters you know but the symptoms and the signs uh, first appear usually in the body uh, uh, in the body area those are affected and may occur as a fever or a headache or uh, you know, reddish and swollen skin over nose and sinuses you know or uh, uh, the door scabbing in the nose uh, by eyes or visual problems, uh, eye swelling, you know, uh, facial pain, coughing, and uh, sometimes maybe bloody as well, you know, bloody coughing and uh, uh, maybe product of cough, you know, and shortness of breath and, uh, and diffuse abdominal pain, uh, bloody and sometimes dark vomits and uh, abdominal distension. Uh, flank pain, uh, ulcer with the dark center, you know, and uh, sharply defined edges and the mental status changes may occur, you know, uh, in the lost state. You know. And uh, the preliminary diagnosis is made by the patient's history, by the physical examination, and the patient's risk factors for uh, uh, mucormycosis, you know, and uh, uh, definitive diagnosis is made by identification of the fungi in the patient's tissues, you know. And uh, uh, almost all patients require surgical uh, debriment of the infected tissue. Uh, so the uh, antifungal drugs and the blood, uh, like uh, good control of the underlying medical problems such as diabetes, etc. You know, so these are the goal of the treatment. You know, and the complications of this condition uh, can be joy, blindness, organ dysfunction, multiple organ failure, loss of body tissue, you know, and due to infection and uh, death, you know, so these are the common complications. Now the prognosis or the outcome uh, of this condition or this infection range from fair to poor and about a 50% death rate, you know, so which is quite frustrating, you know. Uh, that rises to up to 85% uh, uh, of the uh, rhinocerebral and GI infections, you know. So the prevention of this condition, uh, 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 an avoidance and control of the risk factors, you know, so this is possible only in those cases, you know. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day. Thank you. Goodbye.